Hello and welcome if you're joining our church family online today. In the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Lord be with you. In the past few days it's been heartwarming to hear about the way communities have pulled together to help one another during this crisis. We are all, without exception, called to play our part and to heed the advice that we're given for the safety of all. Verses of scripture that will be familiar to you tell us that the first commandment is to love the Lord your God with all your heart. Here's a heart to show that. And the second commandment, you shall love your neighbour as you love yourself. I think there's an awful lot of love that's all stacking up together in this community. Everybody working together to show a lot of love. And there's plenty to go around to ensure that each one of us feels and knows that we are fully cared for in this wonderful community. In a moment, you might like to pause this video to reflect in silence on the love you are showing to others and the love that you are receiving from others. Maybe these questions might be helpful for you. What does loving your neighbour mean right now? How does loving your neighbour as yourself inform your behaviour? If you don't pause the video, just take a moment to close your eyes and reflect with a little bit of background music. Love one another as I have loved you. Love through the sorrow and joy will break through. So love one another as I have loved you. Love through the sorrow joy will break through so love one another as I have loved you love through the sorrow and joy will break through Right now, many in our community and the wider world are experiencing a sense of fear and anxiety, which can be really hard to articulate. Many people have reported feeling frozen through fear. We must be a Christ-like, compassionate church for the sake of the world, caring without judging the reactions of others. We all have varied past life experiences that will quite naturally colour the lens through which we view this bizarre situation. So we'll each react differently. But God's love is there to strengthen us. A passage from the first letter of John speaks of the love of God casting out fear. As we listen, let's take this scripture into our hearts. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casts out fear. So now let us pray. The response to the words, Lord, in your mercy, is hear our prayer. Lord, in your mercy. Loving God, we pray for all who are fearful, anxious, lonely or who are feeling disappointed at cancelled celebrations. Lord, in your mercy, help us to remember that this world is just as beautiful as ever it was, despite the sadness we might feel right now. Come to us 
through the life-giving power of your Holy Spirit and raise us up in our spirits. Lord, in your mercy, help us, even in this season of Lent, not to forget that we are always your loved and precious Easter people and that Jesus died and rose again for each one of us personally. Lord, in your mercy. We pray for those on the front line caring for the sick and for those you have gifted with bright minds to research for a vaccine against this virus. We thank you for their knowledge, skill and creativity in their scientific work and we pray for a rapid and successful outcome. And Lord, be with those who are sick and surround them this day with your love. Lord, in your mercy. And now let us pray with confidence as our Saviour has taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name, thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil for thine is the kingdom the power and the glory for ever and ever amen so now may the Lord in his mercy grant you his peace and the blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son and the Holy Spirit be with us all, now and evermore. Amen.